everyone, I'm Linda Rambo with Glambition. Today we're going to take one of the most simple, inexpensive accessories, the scarf. And we're going to show you how to wear that scarf multiple ways so that it looks different every time you put it on. Many times women come up to me and they say, I love the way scarves look on other people. I'm just not comfortable. I don't know how to tie a scarf. I'm not sure how to wear it. I don't know how to look confident in a scarf. By the end of today's video, all of us will be able to take any scarf, tie it a few different ways, and we'll look different every time we walk out the door. Let's get started. Scarf look number one, the European loop. Many of us know this one already, but this is probably a good refresher course for everyone. So take any oblong scarf, fold it evenly in half, put it over the back of your head, take the one loop in the one hand and the open end in the other hand, put the open end through the loop. Loosen it up, the European loop. Classic, easy, probably one of the first ways that we ever learned how to tie a scarf. Now let's take a look at how the celebrities wear it. Next we're going to do what's called the celebrity cinch. So take that same scarf, nice big open scarf, open it up all the way, put it over your shoulders like a shawl. Then pull the entire shawl over your shoulders. Make one side about half half the length of the other side. Then take the corner of the longer side. Wrap that corner around your neck. Take the corner of the hanging side. Tie a small knot. That's how the celebrities wear it. The celebrity cinch. The next scarf look is called the pretzel. It's a variation on the European loop, but still really easy to do. So I'm going to show this to you with two different scarves so you can appreciate the texture with both scarves. So take another oblong scarf, fold it in half just like you would with the European loop. Put it over your head. Now instead of looping both open ends through the loop, just put one open end through the loop. Now take the loop, pull it towards you, put the other open end through the loop, and you've created a pretzel look. But now you can really appreciate all the different textures and the foils in this scarf, and it shortens up the scarf a little bit, gives it a neater look. So in addition to using this texture scarf, if you use a lighter scarf, you can do the same thing, and it creates a neat look. So here's a scarf that's got a little bit of ruffle, it has some um, fringe on the end. Fold the scarf in half, put it over your neck, hold the open loop with one hand, hold the open hand with the other, only put one open end through the loop, Take the loop and twist it towards you, put the other open end through the loop, and there's another pretzel look. Looks completely different than the first scarf because we've used two completely different scarves, but look how pretty it looks both ways. The next scarf trick is called a necklace look. So what if you have a scarf that has a lot going on in it? For example, this teal scarf has mesh in it and it has material with open circles in it and it has metallic discs in it. It's a beautiful scarf, but we don't want to overpower the scarf. So all we do with something that is this ornate, we open the scarf, we wrap it around the back of our neck, we bring the two open ends back up front. We pull the middle part down just like a necklace and we let the open ends hang down. Now you can appreciate all the beautiful pieces of the scarf without overpowering it. And if you needed a little twist on that, you could also put one end inside the loop and just let it sit like that to change the look. Or you could do both ends inside the loop as well. That changes the look too. Let's have some fun with an infinity scarf. So most infinity scarves, as we know, are very easy. They're one big loop, you pull it over your head, twist it, pull it over your head the second time, you've got the infinity look. Many people think that that's the only way you can wear an infinity scarf. There's actually a twist that you can put on this infinity scarf that gives it a whole new look. So open the infinity scarf up, twist one side towards you, twist the other side away from you. Put the scarf together, now you've created a little knot. Now, when you put the scarf over your head, you've created this knotted infinity scarf that changes the basic look of an infinity. We've touched on only a few different ways to tie a scarf. I'll be coming to you with many new ideas in future videos. But what I'd like to touch on before we leave today is some of the scarf trends for this upcoming winter. Whether it's an infinity scarf or an open scarf, shredded scarves that are thick and chunky are definitely in for this season. In addition to shredded scarves, Fringe scarves are in, in some of the warmest colors. And finally, cable knit scarves have made a comeback. 
So the thick, chunky cable knit scarves over top of a loose sweater is definitely the cozy way to go for the winter. And finally, let's not forget about the most basic use for a scarf over our outerwear for the winter. So take a basic black coat like this, put a scarf with a pop of color underneath and change the entire look. Take a, a cape that you would wear in the fall and put a, an infinity scarf over top of it. Changes the whole look of this. You could even take a dressy dress that you would wear on the weekend, put a fringe scarf over top of the dress and make it casual with boots for work during the day. As always, all the accessories that I showed you today are available at our boutique or on our website. Stay tuned next time when we will take different statement necklaces and show you how to incorporate them into your wardrobe. And then we'll also look at layering some more simple necklaces for a more casual look. Until next time, keep on discovering your glamorous ambition. And thanks so much for tuning in.